When we talk about coilovers in the current scene, a lot of people bring up a bunch of different brands. They bring up KW because KW is like the top dog when it comes down to it. They talk about Silvers as being one of the newest brands here to hit the domestic market. And then of course we have that third player, Tane. Now Tane suspension is Tyne or however you want to spell it. But in regards to how it's pronounced, YouTube told us back in 2001 that it's pronounced Tane. So we're just going to call it that until somebody tells us otherwise, probably from Tane suspension. Now Tane is probably one of the most popular suspension suspension component companies in the world, especially as we see on our gallery, Tane Coilovers is going absolutely nowhere. It is one of the most popular suspension companies and it had us starting to ask why. Why is Tane so popular? Why have we seen Tane choose to be ran on almost every single person that emails us, calls us, talks to us about suspension? And we have decided to break it down into a few different reasons on why Tane suspension is so popular. Now, when you go out and it's your first time buying coilovers, you probably have been in the same shoes as everybody else. You're looking at all the different options, you're looking at all the different things, and you get really confused, you get really scared, and really all you want to do is lower your car because that is what's gonna make the car look good. And so you go out there and you start looking at coilovers and everything seems nice, hunky and dory, and you find the $1,600 coilovers, the $3,000 coilovers, and you're like, gosh, that's a lot. And all of a sudden you come across Tane and you're like, wait a minute, I can get coilovers that aren't terrible for not as much money. And that goes from just the start of it, is that Tane coilovers and a lot of their suspension components, they have so many different stages of products that like go across a huge range of pricing that a lot of people run them because it meets so many different people's like pricing budgets. So you can go out and check out Tane coilovers for $400, for $600, for $800, for $1,200, for $1,600, for $2,200, for $3,000, and $4,000, depending on how much technology and how much you're looking to spend and pretty much what sort of car that you own. And Tane has been able to do that because of the fact that they have so much R&D put into their different coilover systems that allows them to make pretty much anything for anybody. Now, a lot of people always associate price with quality, and that's not usually the case. See, Tane has very expensive suspension components, and they also have not so expensive components. And what that allows them to do is when they make a lot of money on the big stuff, they essentially pass that down to some of the stuff that doesn't cost as much so that they can continue to kind of be competitive. Now, the cool thing with Tane though, is that you are getting a really good quality part. Now, Tane has had a lot of success in the domestic market and they've had a lot of success internationally. But what makes Tane special with that is the fact that a lot of their parts and a lot of the things that are essentially made are actually made in one specific place in Yokohama, Japan. Now, they do have an assembly plant in China. Now that is true, but for the most part, a lot of Tang components and suspension and products, the way that they're assembled is all done in-house under one QC. And what that allows them to do is it allows them to make regional specific products depending on where the product is going. Meaning that a coilover that they build and send and sell in the United States of America, let's say on the Eastern side of the country is not the same coilover that they would buy on the West side or that they would buy in the UK or that they would buy in China or Japan because they test the product differently depending on the roads and depending on where the actual product is gonna be sold. Which is pretty cool when you think about how, how much technology you're getting for a part that really isn't, in the grand scheme of things, as expensive as what a lot of other things in the car scene are currently going for. You guys are not blind to it and neither are we. Every single part seems to be getting more expensive. Wheels are getting more expensive. Tariffs on metals are getting more expensive. There's a whole bunch of political stuff happening right now which would put anybody to sleep in regards to like how things that we do work. But what you do have to know is that pricing is a, it's a, wheels are expensive, man. Why do you think ESR three piece costs six grand? I can tell you right now, it's just kind of how things are going. I know I used ESR three piece and $6,000 in one sentence. And if I would have told you that a year ago, you probably wouldn't have believed me. But that's not just it that makes Tane so successful. It's not what makes them so popular. At the end of the day, what it comes down to is the fact that they're just so easy to get a hold of. Tane has this really cool way of doing business. Now, their website is a little bit older, but they have fitment information. They have a lot of the product information. And of course, they have their own mascot. They have a little like Don Pachi, it's a little damper. I mean, like they have everything established to be a company that you can just trust. And their quality control and their customer service is bar none. They have some really good stuff. They have some really good guys on the other side of the fence that have helped us a lot with a lot of different products that things have happened or people have questions about that they've helped us out on. And so that's why we wanted to make this video because when you go out there and you see Tane being one of the most popular suspension components on our gallery, you see Tane being sold pretty much everywhere. You see a lot of people running it 
it. And of course, you see that the pricing is all over the place in terms of getting a $500 set of coilovers or $4,000 set of coilovers. You kind of start to wonder is why they're able to do what they do. And that's why. The fact that Tain is so popular has a lot to do with the fact that they have so many different price points out there that you can get a set of coilovers almost regardless of what your budget is. If you have a budget, there's probably a coilover that Tain makes that is good, has QC, and is lasting a good long while and has great customer service that you're gonna be able to put in your car because Tain has about a million applications. Not only that, but they make products regional specific to where you live. So a lot of the products that are mostly universal across the whole world because everybody sells everywhere, Tain doesn't do that because they want their products to be just a little bit better than their competitor and that's how they do it. And not only that, the fact that they have all of the data, all of the information that you would need to make like a purchase through somebody like us, you know what I'm saying? That you can kind of feel comfortable because the information is specific to the product that they're selling. And so that you can be pretty much guaranteed that the product is good, lasts a long time, and it's gonna fit your car. And that is why Tain is so popular. And we say this like all the other times. We're not paid to say this, but we do need to talk about it because we get like 20 emails a day where it's like, hey, I'm just wondering why Tain is like, like, like $800, but this Tain is like $1,600. And it's like, we explain it and they're like, great. And then they ask about this and we respond back. And then they never reply for four days, which is just like my love life. But at the end of the day, it's just one of those things where you do really have to understand where Tain's coming from. And that's where they're coming from. So if you're interested in picking up a set of Tain coilers, let us know. Head over to fitmentindustries.com forward slash Tain. That's T-E-I-N. I know you're probably cringing at how many times I've said it as Tain and not Tain or Teen or whatever it is anymore. But, you know, like I said before, until Tain calls us and tells us to say it differently, that's the way we're pronouncing it. Be sure to check out fitmentindustries.com if you need wheels, tires, suspension, all that stuff. And of course, subscribe so we can get to that 100,000. I'm Alex from Fitment Industries. I'm gonna go drink some water because I've been talking so fast. We will see you later. Peace.